Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 5.5 small angle approximation. 5.5 represents chapter 5, section 5 of the Pearson A level Mass Pure Mass Year 2 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Okay, so if theta is small, so this means is close to 0 and is measured in radians then sine theta is approximately theta cos theta is approximately 1 minus theta squared over 2 and tan theta is approximately theta so these are the small angle approximations that you need to know for the examination these small angle approximations are given in the formula booklet let's have a look at some variations so if theta is small sine 3 theta is approximately 3 theta sine 10 theta is approximately 10 theta etc if theta is small cos 3 theta is approximately 1 minus 3 theta in bracket squared over 2 cos 10 theta is approximately 1 minus 10 theta in bracket squared over 2 etc tan 3 theta is approximately 3 theta tan 10 theta is approximately 10 theta etc these are the key facts of 5.5 small angle approximation here is exam style question 1 when theta is small find the approximation of part a and part b let's have a look at part a so cos theta minus 1 over theta multiplied by tan 2 theta is approximately equal to we can replace cos theta with 1 minus theta squared over 2 and then we've got a minus 1 all over theta multiplied by tan 2 theta you can replace it with 2 theta okay so let's simplify this the 1 and the minus 1 cancel we've got minus theta squared over 2 all over 2 theta squared now we can divide top and bottom by theta squared so if we do this in the numerator we will have minus a half divide by in the denominator we will have 2 okay so minus a half divided by 2 is minus a quarter that is the approximation of this fraction let's have a look at part b firstly I'm going to expand the bracket in the numerator so equal 2 minus 2 cos theta and then we've got the minus 1 on the outside all over tan theta minus 1 equal okay so over here what we have is 2 take away 1 is just 1 minus 2 cos theta all over tan theta minus 1 now I'm going to apply my approximation so this fraction, ladies and gents, is approximately equal to 1 minus 2 lots of cos theta approximation is 1 minus theta squared over 2. All over tan theta approximation is theta minus 1. Now we need to clean this up. So we have 1, we can expand this, minus 2, and then we've got plus theta squared all over theta minus 1 right so my numerator can be rewritten as theta squared minus 1 over theta minus 1 so ladies and gents over here we have a difference of two squares I can easily rewrite the numerator as theta squared minus 1 squared all over theta minus 1 okay so what we then have is that the top factorizes to theta minus 1 theta plus 1 all over theta minus 1 ladies and gents we can cancel common factors so we have that this over here is precisely equal to theta plus 1 so the approximation of this fraction is theta plus 1 this completes exam style question 1 moving on to exam style question 2 
Part A, when theta is small, show that the expression 7 plus 2 cos 2 theta all over tan 2 theta plus 3 can be written as 3 minus 2 theta. So let's have a look at this fraction. We have 7 plus 2 cos 2 theta all over tan 2 theta plus 3. We want to approximate this given that theta is small. So this fraction is approximately equal to, we've got 7 plus 2 lots of square bracket, 1 minus, this time we don't have theta, we've got 2 theta, so we put 2 theta in bracket and we square that over 2, close square bracket. All over tan 2 theta is approximately 2 theta, when theta is small, plus 3. Okay, so we're going to simplify this. Equal, we have 7 plus 2 lots of if we simplify what we have inside the square bracket, this will give us 1 minus 2 theta squared. Why? Because 2 squared is 4, theta squared is theta squared, we've got 4 theta squared divided by 2, that's 2 theta squared. All over 2 theta plus 3, equal. Now in the numerator we can expand the bracket. So the numerator becomes 7 plus 2 minus 4 theta squared all over 2 theta plus 3 okay so we can further simplify this our numerator becomes 9 minus 4 theta squared over 2 theta plus 3 ladies and gents over here I've got a difference of two squares I can rewrite the numerator as follows 3 squared minus 2 theta squared all over 2 theta plus 3. Okay, so we can factorise the numerator using difference of two squares. We know that a squared minus b squared is a minus b, a plus b. So over here, the numerator becomes 3 minus 2 theta, 3 plus 2 theta, over 2 theta plus 3. We can cancel common factors leading us on to 3 minus 2 theta, as required. Let's have a look at part B of the question. So this over here was part A. Now we've got part B. Hence, so we have to refer back to our answer in part A. Write down the value of 7 plus 2 cos 2 theta over tan 2 theta plus 3 when theta is small. So theta is small which means that theta is close to zero. So theta is approximately zero. So if theta is approximately zero, we can work out the value of this by using this expression. So the value of this, seven plus two cos two theta over tan two theta plus three, will just be three minus two times zero, which is just three. That there completes part B and exam style question two. Let's have a look at exam style question three. Part A, when theta is small, show that the equation 32 cos 5 theta plus 203 tan 10 theta equal 182 can be written as 40 theta squared minus 203 theta plus 15 equal zero. Okay, so we're going to start off with this equation. We have 32 cos 5 theta plus 203 tan 10 theta equal 182. Given that theta is small, so given that theta is small, this implies that this entire equation can be approximated as follows. So we've got 32, lots of square bracket, 1 minus 5 theta in bracket squared over 2, close square bracket, plus 203 lots of 10 theta equal 182. I can simplify this. So I've got 32 lots of 1 minus 25 theta squared over 2, close bracket, plus 2030 theta equal 182. Now I can expand the bracket. So I've got 32 minus 400 theta squared plus 2030 theta equal 182. I can take everything to the left hand side. 
So doing this gives me minus 400 theta squared plus 2030 theta minus 150 equal zero. Now to get from here to this equation, we can divide the entire equation by negative 10. So if we divide by negative 10, the first term becomes 40 theta squared, the second term becomes minus 203 theta, and the last term becomes plus 50, equal zero. Okay, so that is what we needed in part A. Let's have a look at part B. Okay, so this here was part A. Part B, hence, so we have to refer back to our answer in part A. Find the solutions of this equation. Well, the solutions of this equation under the condition that theta is small is the solutions of this equation here. So we have 40 theta squared minus 203 theta plus 15 equal zero from part A. We can factorize this. So we've got uh, 40 theta minus three, first bracket. Second bracket, we've got theta minus five equal zero. We can set both brackets equal to zero. So 40 theta minus three equal zero and theta minus five equal zero. So the first solution is theta equal three over 40, which is close to zero, it's a small number, and the second solution is theta equal five, which is not close to zero, okay? Um, let's have a look at part C. Comment on the validity of your solutions. Okay, so this equation over here, so we have equation is valid given that theta is small. In other words, close to zero, as close as possible to zero. Hence, theta equal three over 40 is valid, but theta equal five is not valid. So that there completes part C and this exam style question three. Moving on to exam style question four, which is the final exam style question of this teaching video 5.5 small angle approximation. Let's have a look at this beautiful question. Given that theta is small, use the small angle approximations to show that four sine theta over two plus three cos squared theta is approximately this quadratic, where a, b and c are integers to be found. Let's start with the left hand side. Equal. 4 sine theta over 2 plus 3 lots of, I can replace the cos squared theta with 1 minus sine squared theta. So I'm rearranging year 1 identity. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equal 1, making cos squared theta the subject, giving me 1 minus sine squared theta. Now I'm going to carry out the approximation. So approximately equal to 4 lots of theta over 2 plus three lots of one minus, the approximation of this is theta squared, close bracket, equal. That there, ladies and gents, becomes two theta. We can expand the bracket. This will give us three minus three theta squared. Okay, so I can rewrite this as three plus two theta minus three theta squared. That is precisely what we needed. So we have A equal three, B equal two, and C equal minus three. That completes uh, exam style question four and this teaching video 5.5 small angle approximation. If you found the video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive a notification every time I post a teaching video.